Greetings, respective viewers. I'm George from Ireland. So I'm about to read Jim, uh, a poem by Hilaire Belloc, um, about which more later. So uh, here it is. Jim, who ran away from his nurse and was eaten by a lion, by Hilaire Belloc. There was a boy whose name was Jim. His friends were very good to him. They gave him tea and cake and jam and slices of delicious ham and chocolate with pink inside and little tricycles to ride. They read him stories through and through and even took him to the zoo. And there it was the dreadful fate befell him, which I now relate. You know, or at least ought to know, for I've often told you so, that children never are allowed to leave their nurses in a crowd. Now this was Jim's especial foible. He ran away when he was able, and on this inauspicious day he slipped the hand and ran away. He hadn't got a gone a yard when bang! With open jaws the lion sprang, and hungrily began to eat, the boy beginning at his feet. Now just imagine how it feels when you first your toes and then your heels, and then by gradual degrees your shins and ankles, calves and knees, are slowly eaten bit by bit. No wonder Jim detested it. No wonder he shouted, Hi! The honest keeper heard his cry, and though very fat, he almost ran to help the little gentleman. Ponto, he ordered as he came, for Ponto was the lion's name. Ponto, he cried with angry frown. Let go, sir. Down, sir. Put it down. The lion made a sudden stop and then let a dainty morsel drop and slunk reluctant to his cage, snarling with disappointed rage. But when he bent him over Jim, the honest keeper's eyes were dim. The lion, having reached his head, the miserable boy was dead. When nurse informed his parents they were more concerned than I can say, his mother, as she dried her eyes, said, well, it gives me no surprise. He would not do as he was told, and his father, who was very self-controlled, bade all the children round attend to James's miserable end and always keep a hold of nurse for fear of finding something worse. So um, Hilaire Belloc um, was an immensely popular writer of the Edwardian era into the 1930s and 20s, 20s and 30s rather, I should say it sequentially, and um, he um, often wrote about his Christian faith, about the history of Europe, but light verse as well, um, aimed at little people, not leprechauns, you know what I mean. Um, and so this is, this is an example of it. It's obviously got a simple rhyme scheme. It's a, it's a narrative poem. It's, it's fairly brief, and it doesn't require a great deal of an e explanation. I'm surprised that he went for the colloquial version of the name Jim. So warning children not to run away from their... From their um, nannies, by, that by nurse, that's what he means, I suspect. We probably wouldn't hire someone who was actually medically trained to hang around with a child. And being a nurse is much easier to qualify as over a century ago when he um, penned this cheerful little poem. Um, anything else? Yeah, well, children children should know this. You'll be. He's obviously writing it for quite wealthy children such as would have a nanny to be brought, brought around and there's some very british understatement as in his, his mother was more concerned than i can say and all the rest so plenty of rhymes some half rhymes and a little bit rhythmical and so i remember this um hearing this when i was about eight years old so aimed at children of about my age but uh, it was rather antiquated by the 1980s when i when i heard it well that's enough from me so please um uh, subscribe encourage um, your chums to do so and um, I have your chuff with that I know you want to give me a handsome donation um, on on PayPal George Callahan 79 at gmail.com and book online lessons with me and all humanity subjects cheerio